Good evening. A Vancouver Island family whose son remains missing says they hope the police plea for new information will give them some much needed answers. Matthew Huzar went missing December 16th. And as Czech News reporter Lee Chekstad tells us, Vancouver police say this is one of five similar cases they're hoping the community can help solve. Each day for nearly two months now, Devin Tompkins searches for his missing roommate, Matt Huzar. You wake up every morning thinking, should I do more? Can we do more? Is, is there, the phone's ringing, is there some information coming in about Matt? This surveillance image is the last sign of Matt. He's leaving an ATM just before a company Christmas party at the Lamplighter Pub in Gastown. He was expected to visit family on the island the very next day. Matt never showed up and didn't pick up his bags at his Vancouver apartment. We're really just looking for that one person to come forward that may know something, uh, that may not even know that they know something, but uh, to come forward and, and give the police something that they can follow up on. Friends and volunteers plaster posters all over town. Devin even had the $10,000 reward poster translated into Cantonese, which was hung around Chinatown Saturday afternoon. Matt's case is one police appealed for more help on Friday. While they say they solved 99% of missing persons cases, Matt is one of five men around the same age who all went missing in 2011. These cases, we've exhausted all our investigative avenues. Um, we've worked extensively in all of them. Matt's mother, Danny, says police told her about the other cases some time ago, and no one can find a common link. That's the really frustrating thing is that we just don't have any information whatsoever. Uh, the police are frustrated, we're frustrated. You know, we keep turning scenarios over in our mind as to what may have happened, what, what could have happened that night, and, and none of them make any sense. Especially considering that by all accounts, Matt was happy. A job, a new boat he loved tinkering with, and a close-knit group of friends. Those friends are the ones who are now devoting hours to finding Matt, and trying to make sense of where he might be. You know, it really makes the, inf the imagination run wild. Matt's family and friends hope the latest plea by police and the new batch of posters near where he was last seen might highlight the case further and possibly lead them to the answers they're so desperately looking for.